I'm David Cohn. I'm here with Sasho Sarovsky, head coach of the Maryland men's soccer team, two times national champs. We're here at Ludwig Field to talk about the World Cup. So Sasha, you've been watching the World Cup since you were a kid. Oh, I love the event. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, there's a countdown, a daily countdown of, of when the games are going to start. And obviously, uh, you know, now having uh, uh, some ties to, to some of our players playing the World Cup makes it even a more special occasion. So uh, it, it's an exciting, exciting month. So tell me about the U.S. team's chances. They're in a really tough group. They're in a so-called group of death. They have yeah. uh, Germany, Ghana, and Portugal, which has Ronaldo. Yeah. Uh, so they yeah. they have a real tough road here. What what do you think about their chances? Ghana's knocked us out of the last two World Cups. This time we play them in the first game. So hopefully, you know, this you know tie turns and we can get a result, either a tie minimally and hopefully a win against Ghana because we'll have to do it because Lumin Portugal, who are now in good form, and again, if you look at Portugal. Uh, you know, there's a Brazilian descendancy and connection with Portugal. They're going to feel right at home. Uh, Portugal doesn't re really travel well as well. Uh, but I think in Brazil, they are going to make some noise. And then, of course, then what does Germany need in the third game against us? You know, will they already win two games and be through and possibly not need a result against us in the third game? Or will Germany uh, maybe not get the job done and have to beat us to advance? Because we know Germany always gets to the final four. Talk about this a little bit. You know, let's put the U.S. team aside and just talk about the tournament as a whole. Who do you think has the best chance to win this? Well, you know, you have to put your money on Brazil. Um, it, it's at home in Brazil. The last time they hosted in 1950, they lost to Uruguay, and the country has not forgotten that, even, even in the fact that they've won uh, four, four World Cups since that point. <laughs> uh, they, you know, they haven't forgotten that loss. So I think this is a big, big moment. And obviously one of the rising stars in the world, Neymar, this is hopefully is his showpiece uh, to put himself alongside the great players in the world, which he's inkling to that area. So you have to go with Brazil. Um, however, uh, in my final four, mm -hmm. I have that country Uruguay. Okay. which is a you know that noisy neighbor of right. Brazil right. <laughs> right. that I believe has the talent and the pedigree to make some noise. So I've got Brazil, Uruguay in the semifinals along with Germany and Argentina. Germany is one of those countries. They travel well. They, can, they play well all over the world. Uh, I think that they still have a great uh, team, a mature team, with in, incorporated with some young players. I think they'll be there at the end of the day. And, of course, there's Lionel Messi in Argentina, who obviously on their own continent – uh, and I feel like they're gonna. This is gonna be Leo's uh, World Cup breakout because he struggled at World Cups, and I believe this is a time that Messi will shine. And imagine if we have a final four with the storylines of the Brazil Uruguay 1950 matchup, and then you have, you know, the, the heritage of, of Germany and their World Cups, and then Messi and Neymar kind of fighting it out. I just I, that's what I see. I certainly hope the U.S. can somehow get ourselves into the final four, but that's what I see from a from a pure soccer standpoint. Great, thanks a lot, Sasho. The legendary Sasho Sarovsky, coach of the Maryland men's team, good luck to you and your players in the World Cup. Dave, thanks, it was a pleasure. Go Terps, go USA.